Yeah, but I, I would recommend going down the Font Awesome route. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to use icons. Um, oh, oops, meant to um, uh, ignore all that real quick. But I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to use icons. I, I know it's I, I know it can be convoluted or, or or seem incredibly simple, but let's let's go ahead and, and do it together. So I'm going to start with the next JS application. So I'll say npx create dash next dash app at latest dot slash. So would you like to use TypeScript? Yes, I would. ESLint? Yes. Tailwind CSS? Yes, I would. SRC directory? No. App directory? Yes. Uh, would you like to customize and import alias? I would not like to. No, thank you. So obviously we want to use icons um, to you know. Uh, integrate our, our front-end builds and make them look a lot better. So in my terminal, I'll say npm run dev here. Let's go ahead and do that. Just to get our server up and running. And I'll come over here to the right and go to localhost 3000 to check on our server. But icons make our front-end experience much better. You can even see them pre-built installed with, uh, with Next.js's um, uh, uh, landing page. So I will go ahead and open up this Explorer tab. Let's open up this app directory and go to page.tsx. I'm going to copy from main down. I'll actually just close it from main to main. And let's delete everything that comes out of the box with, um, with Next.js. So we should be left with nothing here. And I'll just give it a plain div. And I'll say, hello, world. And let's install some icons. So what, I, what I'm going to use is use this uh, uh, Fawn Awesome library, which many are, are familiar with. Um, and, and what I can do is, is crash my server. I can hit Command-C or, or delete the server to, to stop it from running. Um, or I can open up a new one. And I want to install or push in this npm install command. So I'll have this in the description below. Uh, but basically, it's going to install all of our, our free uh, Fawn Awesome SVGs and, and icons. And while that's installing, I, I, I want to go ahead and go to, uh, well, it's already done installing. So, so I'll just npm run dev. And I, I want to go back to our file here. Um, so our server's back up and running. I can, I can close out of the terminal. And, and what I want to do is import Fawn Awesome from, uh, uh, how is it? From, from uh, I believe it's Fawn Awesome. Oops, spelled awesome wrong. Font awesome. Oops, guys, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm. Font awesome icon. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see. I've I've actually got it down here. So. So I want to install or or import font awesome icon from. Uh, font awesome or or Ford awesome. Excuse me. From at Ford awesome slash React uh, dash font awesome. So this font awesome, this is where we can we can prefix our um, uh, it's our icon component. So so we can we can come here and build this out. Let me actually make this on a new line to make it a little more clear. I can open up my bracket and do this for font awesome icon, or at least this component. And this component, it's basically a blank div at this point. There's nothing that it takes, but it does take this attribute called icon, and we can say uh, equals our our brackets here, our, our curly brackets. And then in this, I, I need to prefix it with FA. And you can see I have all of these, or I should have all of these. Um, uh, uh, I'm getting no help from, from IntelliSense, but I should have all of these, these um, free icons that pop in. So here's one of them, for instance, is the FA coffee. Let's refresh our server. We should see the coffee mug pop up here. Give it a moment, boom, and there it is. There's our ginormous coffee mug. And I can actually append a class name onto it. And I can say with uh, eight, you know, to make it much smaller than, than the giant page, right? So it's, so it's 32 pixels wide, roughly. Um, there's, there's more FA material. So let's say font awesome. You can see now, now we have all of our, our IntelliSense, all these four awesome free solid SVG icons. So we have like an address book. We can scroll through. We can we can find a bunch of them. We have an anchor lock, um, and and you could just think of a lot too. Like if you need a clock, just start looking for a clock. You could say FA clock. You could see it gets auto imported, and here's an icon for a clock, just like that. And you could also make it different colors. So I could say background red 500, I believe, or maybe it's text red. So it looks like it's text red 500. If I want to change the color of of this icon. Uh, guys, let's center them. Let's center them. So in this parent div, I'll say class name flex, flex call with full um, justify 
center, items, center. And let's let's give it some height. So I'll say M uh, or min height screen. Guys, and again, all this code will, it, it'll always be in the repository, or excuse me, in the YouTube description. Um, just so you guys can steal steal this stuff right out of the box. But but you can see right away, we, we, we have icons we can immediately interact with, we could do stuff with. Um, if I want to build an arrow, right, I can I can go over here and, and choose FA coffee and go FA arrow, uh, let's say right, and import that arrow to the right if I need a right pointing arrow. I can delete this icon below. And and these these icons, they act very similar to <clears throat> just a div, right? So so if I if I have a, a, a like let's say login right here, right? Let's let's uh, go ahead and flex and say gap uh, x two, and I'll say items dash center, just to center line these. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So instead of width eight, I'll say width four, and then on hover, I can actually say gap uh, x four or x five. So boom. We have a bit of a, a hover effect, and then obviously, if I add a transition, uh, I can I can make it a little bit smoother. Let's see, I spelled that wrong. Transition? No, I didn't. I really didn't. Weird. So it should. Did I did I spell that wrong? I'm double looking. Uh, I'll say cursor pointer. We should we should uh, uh, did did I spell that wrong? Transition. Okay, well, well, there's definitely other ways to uh, to to do this, right? I could say, uh, let's let's see. I can I can definitely uh, do this as well. I can have the the login button. If there's a hover, I could say margin right two. So then we'll do that, and then and then I could say transition here, and that should should be a smoother. Maybe not, guys. Golly, golly, trans. Oh, I did spell that one wrong. Okay. I was gonna say, golly, it's still not working how I want it to. Uh, but but point being, guys, is is you have all these these icons that that you can uh, still still apply or should be able to apply your your normal classes to. So I could say opacity a hundred for this, or hover opacity a hundred, and let's do opacity fifty. So only when I highlight over the arrow, it changes. Um, but right out of the box, Font Awesome has these amazing, these awesome icons right here for you. So, so take advantage of them. Um, I think they're, I think they're great. They, they are really useful. I use them all the time, and it's, it's very easy to integrate, and it's free, and it's free. So that's one way to do icons. Um, the next way to do it is to look up images. So if I want a PNG um, image of clock, let's say. Um, I, could, I could obviously steal these as well. So, so that's an effective way to do icons as well. Um, uh, and, and you can save this image somewhere. So I could save it, boom, like a, as a free clock uh, icon. And then um, obviously build a folder here so I can have my assets folder with this clock icon. I've done this many times as well. So assets and then build an icons folder and drag and drop this uh, downloaded file. We can rename it to clock um, and you can see this one's actually not a real png so so i go to this website called remove.bg and you can drag that in and it'll actually clean it up where where it will become a png meaning it, it has no background so so this this website remove.bg is a very effective tool as well and then you can go ahead and download that and that should actually be a real icon here with with no background so let me delete this one out and I'll rename this one to clock.png. Um, yeah, but I, I would recommend going down the font awesome route. Um, and then obviously you guys can import that uh, as that clock PNG uh, and use it as such. But but I would I would recommend going down the font awesome route because you could change the colors. Um, and, and not only change the colors, you could change the size really easily. And it's really consistent. Very consistent. It's no different than having a, a out-of-the-box component. Um, so, so I will have the NPN command and this uh, repository in the description below. I think it's a, a great library and, and steal it, guys. But that's how to integrate icons on the front end.